Uh, so we have a globe right here and um, just like any other globe you might see, um, the axis of our globe is tilted. Um, so if I held it upright, the North Pole is right here. Um, if our planet wasn't tilted, then the axis would just go straight up and down like this. Uh, but that's not the case. Our planet is tilted by about 23 and a half degrees. And because of that, during the year, uh, we get more direct or less direct sunlight depending on the season. So right now we're approaching the winter solstice, which is on December 21st. And on that day, the north pole of our planet, which is up here, is most tilted away from the sun. So if we imagine that that light source over there is the sun, our axis is tilted away from that, which means that especially in the northern hemisphere, um, the sun is going to appear pretty low in the sky. But I think one of the most extreme examples is up here on the north pole, so kind of right where my finger is, if I spin our our globe so that we're letting the days pass by. We spin around once per day. Uh, notice that the north pole of our planet is remaining in darkness constantly. Um, so up there on the north pole, um, right around the winter solstice, it's 24 hours of darkness. And then by contrast, um, I know it's sort of hard to see, but down here on the southern hemisphere, um, Antarctica is being lit up right now by the sun. And um, over the course of a day around December 21st, the southern, the south pole of our planet is always bathed in sunlight. And then the opposite is true um, one or half a year later. Um, so half a year later, our planet will have traveled around halfway around its orbit and then will be more like this. So now right around June 21st, notice the north pole is being bathed in the sunlight. And as the days go by, it continues to be lit up by the sun. Um, so up there in the North Pole, um, they would experience uh, 24 hours of daylight around the summer solstice. Now for our latitude here in Eugene, we're right around 45 degrees. Um, so we definitely do experience some seasonal changes. It gets a lot darker uh, during this time of year than it does in the summer. The, the least extreme changes would be actually experienced on the equator. So right around there, um, no matter what season it is, no matter what time of year, the daylight, the length of the day doesn't change very much.